Hello everybody and welcome back to the LV News Gaming Channel. Today is the first episode of a football podcast that will be out weekly. Little message, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter so you never miss one of these. They'll be out roughly every week. And in these podcasts, we will be talking about football news that have happened in the week. We will probably be carrying on this um, podcast series into the season. So when we actually have games... There'll be little talks about um, the football that's gone on in that week. But today I'd like to talk about the Premier League a bit. Um, We're normally going to be doing Premier League West Brom and other football news that's been related. So, Premier League wise, the news that we have heard very recently is that Frank Lampard, the Chelsea midfielder, the ex-Chelsea midfielder, a Chelsea legend really, could be on his way to Chelsea as a manager. Now, this is pretty big news, as Lampard only just started off as a manager last season with Derby, which was quite a big club to start off with, and now in his second season as a manager, he could be off to one of the biggest teams in the Premier League. Of course, they're unlikely to get a very good manager in because they've got a transfer ban, so um, that's going to be hard to attract manager because they're not going to come if you can't sign players. So that's why it's good to turn to one of the Premier League legends. Maybe they could have given someone like Drogba or Czech a go as um, as a manager, as their ex plays Do I think he'll do well? We don't know yet. I think this is going to be something that we'll find out, well, when he's had his first full season and maybe his first two full seasons. It's not an easy job to take. A lot of those players could be leaving. Kante, Willian, Azpilicueta. But then again, now they've got Champions League football, they might be able to convince those players to stay, like Kante, Willian, Azpilicueta, Pedro, and others. Um, but they've got a lot of um, loanies that are out. So players like Tammy Abraham and, of course, Pulisic will be joining them. They might need to. Um, they might need them. They might really need them as um, backup options if those other players leave. You know, we could see Chelsea, if Lampard doesn't work out, it's one of the best players leave, slip down into not so great a side. Maybe not like Championship or anything, but maybe not someone that's challenging for the top four all the time, or maybe someone that's top ten. Who knows? But then again, Lampard could turn them around, get them playing, and we could see him win a league in his first season. We don't know yet. It'll be very interesting. Of course, he's not been appointed yet, so we don't definitely... He's don't definitely know if he's going to be there, but I would expect him to be managing Chelsea next season. I think he'll happen. Another related news to Chelsea, Petr Cech, the um, former Chelsea and Arsenal goalkeeper, has gone to Chelsea as a technical director. You know, he's a legend there. He's a legend at the club. He's a pretty good player at Arsenal. And I think he's a nice guy as well as Cech. So all the best with his new job. Now, um, championship news. We've heard some massive news that has infuriated a lot of fans, and that's the sacking of Gary Monk. Now, he's done really well because Birmingham had a points deduction, and he kept them from relegation. They've not got the best side in the world. For a lot of that season, they were pushing for the top six until they got that um, point deduction. They were looking like a really good side, so I think it's terrible news. And I think the side that gets him has got one hell of a manager. He looks like a really good manager in that division. I would have taken him, but if we were going to get him, that would have taken another week of not having a manager. And I think Billich might be a bit better. Now moving on to West Brom. You probably heard the news that Slaven Bilic has taken um, helm of West Brom, shall we? I think he's going to be a good manager. I think but the thing is, Westport Shelby have not got a lot of money to spend and a lot of those players could be leaving. We could be having to replace about 15 to, not 20, but 15 or 18 or 17 or 16 players and it's not good. You know, we're going to have to really invest our money well. We probably need to get about five decent loans in. They need to be good loanies. But the problem we had last year is our best players like Gale and Johansson and Holgate were pretty much on loan. 
pretty much most of our best players were on loan. And, well, as Gale, we can't afford Gale's wages, despite there being rumours um, that we might be able to find room for his wages. You know, we're having a bit of an issue now because we're having to replace him. But I still think we need to get five really good loanies in. And then we need to also, I think, maybe shop abroad a bit. Shop continental. You know, Italy, France, Germany, maybe even Turkey. They've got some decent players. And Bilic knows a bit about Turkish football. But I think a lot of the players will be coming from around League One or maybe a few lower championships, maybe even Scotland even. I'd take this um, Turnbull lad that's playing for, I believe it's Motherwell at the moment. I think that would be a good signing. It might cost about a bit of money with about £3 million, £2 million price tag. It's said to be on. McGinn went to the Villa last season and from Scotland and did quite well so I think we might be able to pick up a similar sort of player. Of course you get players that coming in in the transfer window unless you're Tottenham Hotspur last season and you also get players that are leaving and I think the players that are probably going to be leaving well there's going to be quite a few of them Dawson will probably be leaving, London will probably be leaving and the other ones that Phillips will probably leave now, we don't know for sure about Higazi or Gibbs or Rodriguez. Rodriguez has got a £5 million release clause that could go up to £10 million. But he has stated that he would like to stay at the club. Of course, we did hear that with Foster but last season and he left. But I think Foster, something weird happened with that one. You don't just... Foster's not the kind of footballer that's going to say he's going to stay. And then end up going. He's not a snake, his foster. Something must have happened. I don't think we'll find ever find out what happened. But that is not important as that's all in the past for us. And we need to look to the future. Now the players we've been linked with have been Reese Oxford and Jenkinson mainly, who are two ex West Ham players that both played under Billich at West Ham. Jenkinson being on loan. Now Jenkinson wouldn't be a terrible signing, you might I know he's not the most popular player in the world, but he looks okay occasionally. He looks quite, he looks all right. If he's on a free, I would take him. But if he's, if we have to pay money for Arsenal because they might trigger a contract extension, then it's an absolute no. No disrespect to Jenkinson. He's good, but we've not got a lot of money. So we don't want to be paying about one, one and a half million pounds for a player like Jenkinson. Or two million. I don't know how much he'd cost, but we probably don't want to be paying that amount of money for him. Reese Oxford, there's been a lot of rumours saying he's poised to join the club. Personally, he's not got lots of experience, in my opinion, but I think we might be able to give him his big break, you could call it. You know, his actual first really like consistent good season. If we did, he'd be, I think he could be one hell of a good defender, Reese Oxford. He's Looks good in Germany. He looks okay when he played for West Ham. Of course, Bilic gave him his breakthrough. Um, yeah. Would I take him? Yeah, for about £4 million. It's not that much money. But um, I figured out that, you know, we need to get about 15 players in, 16 players in, in about six weeks. That's about two players a week. So it's, it could be a really exciting transfer window. Maybe not even, maybe not always the best signings coming in, but this could be a really exciting one. Anyway, I'd like your views in the comments of who would you like to see come into your club? What, what club do you support? Um, so in other news, um, Eden Hazard went to Real Madrid. Will he be a success? I think yes, definitely. I think that division is a sort of one for a player like Hazard with the skills he's got. He could completely set it alight. Of course, Juve lost. Um, Juve got Ronaldo. They lost. Uh, Real Madrid lost him, and I think that might just be his replacement. A bit late, is it? But Vinicius Junior. It's not great news for him because you know he was kind of one that was set to be the next Ronaldo. But let's see. They also signed Jovic, who is um, a player that had a really good breakout season in Germany. And I was I saw today his goals, where he got five goals in a game for Frankfurt. And there were some really good goals in there. So he could be a top quality striker. 
And I think for next season, if I want to start at front three, I put Bale back in there with um, um, Jovic up front, not Benzema. And then Hazard on the left. I think that would be a really good front three for them. And MSC of Barcelona might just be a little bit concerned next season. Of course, they've got Zidane back. And I think a lot of their um, unsuccessfulness last season was due that Zidane had left. Um, they got a manager that was sacked by Spain a few, um, a few weeks before. And that just caused a lot of controversy. I predicted it at the start of last season that the fact that Real Madrid didn't really have an amazing manager coming in. And there was a bit of controversy to do with their manager. I forget kind of what happened. I tip them not to do that well last season. Of course, the Women's World Cup is going on at the moment. It's very exciting. I know England are doing quite well. Um, I watched a few last night and it, it looks really entertaining. So I would definitely watch it because it looks like some beautiful football in there. Some great chances some great goals have been going in so make sure to watch it West Point Shelby got the first fixture of um, next season which is against Forest who this could be a really good game and I think this is going to be an important game to see how Billich fares and it's kind of a side that could be going up next season they're looking good it's uh it's not always the best place to visit this Forest ground it can be a bit um bit hard for a player in there it's um got quite some good atmosphere there and um other football news just going back to this quickly talking point Scholzkar is apparently according to i believe sky and some other sources saying that you know he would um he wants to offload pogba now if this is true where would pogba go leave this in the comments but i would think potentially looking at maybe into milan they might not have that money Return to um, Juve? Probably not. Maybe. PSG? Possibly. But I think the most likely destination in, um, at the moment in the world is probably Real Madrid. I mean, Pogba's not a bad player, but if I must say, I don't think he's Real Madrid quality. I don't think his attitude is always in the right place. I don't think he's probably even... I mean... I don't think he's quali He's a good enough for a side like Real Madrid. I think you're more looking at maybe someone like, I don't know, I wouldn't go there, of course, because of the transfer ban, but someone like Chelsea, maybe, he's more that quality for, or AC Milan or Lazio, that kind of club. In um, Spain, you're only looking at Atletico Madrid or Valencia. I think it's his quality. But that's just my opinion. So if you'd like... Do you think Pogba's good enough and where do you think he's going to go? Make sure to leave that in the comments. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. We've had a good time talking about football. I hope you've had a good time. If you have had a good time, then make sure to share it, like, comment telling me what club you support. See you in the next video. This one's probably going to be coming out in a week. Um, have a great day, evening or morning, wherever you are. See you in the next podcast or video. Goodbye.